Hey everybody, it's Joe from greenlightsound.com and today we've got a look at a new delay plugin from Baby Audio called Comeback Kid. And I'd like to start by giving a big thank you to Baby Audio for giving me a copy to take a look at today. So the first thing I'd like to do is go over some of the basic controls. And it'll be quick because there's not a whole lot of them. One of the really nice things about this plugin is you can achieve a lot of different sounds with a minimum amount of fuss. No drop down menus, no hidden menus, no features that you have to go to a different panel to find, but everything is here for you on the front panel, which is really nice. First, in terms of the delay section right in the middle, you've got your normal time and feedback knobs, time controlling the delay time, of course, and feedback, how many echoes you get. It can be synced to the BPM of the session and moved from 1 64th down to whole note time. Its default is quarter note. You can have straight, dotted, triplets. You can have ping pong mode where the left and right bounces back and forth. And then free mode, which is nice because you can dial in how many milliseconds you want in the time. And that goes all the way down from off, which we'll talk about in a bit. 0 0.01 milliseconds. And you can, of course, type it in if you want to. 0 0.01 milliseconds all the way up to 2,500 milliseconds in time. The next thing we'll take a look at is the shaper section on the upper left where you have a low cut and high cut filter, which are analog style filters. That's really nice for tucking things under the main signal so you don't have too much low end coming through and kind of swamping things out, not too much high end causing too much brightness in the delay signal. A really nice feature here are the attack and sustain knobs, which are transient designers for your delay signal. Attack, of course, being the initial transient and sustain that comes after, and they're really great for shaping those delays. In the flavor section on the upper right, we've got four controls here. If you engage cheap by turning that on there, you get an algorithm that's modeled after old vintage digital delays with bit reduction. I think it's 11 bit reduction. Tape is analog style tape saturation. Of course, tape delays are really well known. Swirl is a phaser effect to give some nice motion to your delay. And sauce is algorithmic reverb, which is really nice because often if I'm using a delay that does not have a built in reverb, I'll end up sending that delayed signal to another reverb too to get a reverbed delay. You can do this right in the box here, which is really nice. On the bottom left, we've got the stereo section. Wider introduces some left and right channel time variations, which widens the stereo image. Richer adds left and right channel pitch variations. We've got pan where we can place our delays anywhere in the stereo image, left, right, center, or in between, and a mono button for giving yourself an easy mono delay. Finally, on the bottom right, we've got the output section. This destiny is a randomization algorithm if you want some randomized settings, but they are very subtle. It's not crazy randomization. We've got a ducker, which is great to have on a delay, and that reduces the delay signal while the dry signal is present. That allows you to not have the delay signal completely overtake your dry source. Of course, we've got dry knob and wet knob controlling the level of each of those. And then one of the coolest features that is included with this plugin is that if you double click on the logo, it turns the delay off. As we were in free mode, you saw it, you can turn it off. And that allows you to use all of these shaper, flavor, stereo elements, and, and the output too, of course, as an effects box. So you could use tape saturation, some phaser and reverb, some chorusing, all uh, from just the effects section of this without the delay included, which is really, really cool effect. And the last feature I just wanted to point out, you've got two GUI modes. Daytime mode, which is brighter, and nighttime mode, which I tend to prefer. So let's get right to hearing this thing in action. And the first source we're going to hear it on is one of the most commonly used sources for delay, and that's lead vocals. And I set it up with the very first preset here called analog delay. I'm using it as a send effect, so I'm getting the dry signal all the way out of the way. Yeah, I've been yelling at the top of my lungs now. Shooting out my loudest gun. Alrighty, first preset's a great sounding delay. If we wanted to shape it a little bit more, we could easily do that. Let's say we want to change the delay time, make it more of a slap delay. Yeah, I've been yelling at the top of my lungs. Now I'm shooting out my loudest guns. If you, if you, yeah, I've been. Yelling at the top of my lungs Now I'm shooting out my loudest guns If you... 
So that's a really nice way of just getting a, a saturated tape slap. I'm going to engage the duck or two so we can hear what that does. Yeah, I've been yelling at the top of my lungs. Now I'm shooting all my loudest guns. If you could only hear a sound. Just a great saturated tape slap. Really cool. Let's try another preset just to see what they sound like. We're going to go down to vocal ducking and movement. Yeah, I've been yelling at the top of my lungs. Now I'm shooting out my loudest guns. If you could only hear a sound, then this why no. And that one's got a little reverb on it too. You can see that sauce there. Yeah, I've been yelling at the top of my lungs. And that pitch variation, which is really nice. One more preset here. Vocal pinger, get that dry signal out. Yeah, I've been yelling at the top of my lungs. Now I'm shooting out my loudest gun. So there's some really great sounds just from those few presets. If we wanted to create our own delays, we could, of course, bring all those knobs back to their default settings and then experiment with the times we want. So I'm going to go with a quarter note delay here. And I'm going to dial all these different settings in, shaper, flavor, and stereo, to a delay that I think sounds good. Yeah, yeah, yeah I've been yelling at the top of my lungs. Now I'm shooting out my loudest guns. If you could only hear a sound, then this white noise sound. Yeah, I've been. Then I'll blend the effect in so it's not quite so obvious. Yeah, I've been yelling at the top of my lungs. Now I'm shooting out my loudest guns. If you just a great long ping pong delay and super easy to set up. I didn't have to go through a bunch of sub menus, a few knob movements, and I'm where I want to be. That's great. The next source we're going to hear it on is guitars, and one trick that I use sometimes to get a little bit more width and space to guitars is to set up a short delay and send the guitar signal to it and blend it in. I set up my delay in free time for 44 milliseconds. We're going to start with the guitar signal without the delay at all. Here's just the playing guitar signals. We engage the delay. Yeah. Just a nice way to set up some space for the guitars. I'm going to change some of the other settings too, so we can hear what they do. Let's start with our transient designer here. Nice way to get more of that percussive character out of the strumming. If I pull back the attack, you get the opposite effect. If I wanted to make it a little wider. So just really easy to set up that short delay time that gives the guitars a real nice sense of space. The next thing we'll do is go to a single lead guitar line and we'll try out some of the guitar oriented presets on it. And we'll start with guitar analog delay. That's of course a mono delay. Next one is called guitar lead dirty slap. That's a really nice one to add some space. Here it is without again, I'll engage. Very nice. And the final thing I wanna try is to use this on bass, but not use the delay at all. So I'm gonna double click on the logo, turns off the delay. And normally when I'm mixing bass, I often will have a modulation effects 
send that I use some chorusing on sometimes, and I want to see how it works with, with this plugin instead, if I can get more than one job done with it. Here's the bass part without any of the modulation. And I'll include some of this richer in here for that pitch variation. And wider. I can cut the low end out of it too. Even some tape saturation. Here's the bass part without again. And with it. Just a great way to get some width on that bass if that's what you want, but not have too much on the very lowest end of it. It's nice to blend in really subtly. I normally use a chorus pedal for this, but you can get two jobs done with one plug in with Comeback Kid. So there it is, Comeback Kid, that new delay from Baby Audio. Highly recommended by me. It's simple to use, doesn't have a lot of fiddling around with. Some delays can be very complicated to use, this one's not, but you can dial in a lot of different sounds. And I can see it being used on pretty much any source you'd want to use delay on. And the fact that you can turn the delay off and use some of those other effects as you need are just a total bonus for this plugin as well. If you have any questions or comments, let me know in the comment section down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so, so we can keep you in the loop as to what's coming up next. And I will see you in the next one.